Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, May 11, 2024. May God be with you today and may His Spirit bring you peace. And even as you go into His sanctuary to worship today, I pray that His blessings will fall on you. Worship God and give Him the glory because He is worthy to be praised. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 150, reading from verse 1 to 6. And it says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. Praise Him with the timbrels and dance. Praise Him with string instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the eye sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. What a beautiful reading this morning. A psalm of praise. We are admonished by the servant that we should praise God. We should what? Praise Him in His sanctuary. When we go through the sanctuary of the Lord, when we go to church, we need to lift our voice in thanksgiving to God for taking us safely through another week, for taking us to church safely, for providing for us, for blessing us. Is handiwork in our lives they are numerous and so we have so much to give him thanks for and so our praise should lift the roof from the building because we are so excited about God and his goodness towards us we need to praise him for his mighty acts when you look at nature when you look at creation and you see all the wonderful things that God has created and blessed we can't help but give God the glory for his awesomeness he says that we need to praise him with the trumpet we don't really use trumpet but the instruments that we have or voice or hands and if you have a keyboard or whatever whatever it is that you have that can be used to give God praise use it lift your voice so in other words whatever it is that you have use it to give god glory amen so we need to praise god praise him in the beauty of his holiness praise him with the timbrels praise him with the psalms praise him with the organs you know the organ in the church you know those kind of stuff so all instruments that we have as long as they are used appropriately they can be used to give god glory and it ends by saying that what let everything that has breath praise the lord you don't want it any more clear than that friends if you are alive that's reason enough to give god praise the dead can't praise god but you can because you are still alive and so even if you don't have food on your table even if you are financially challenged if even you are health challenged whatever your challenges are whatever your circumstance and your situation if you are alive even if it is just barely alive the fact that breath is still in your body you have a reason to give God praise because a little breath is better than no breath at all. Isn't that so? And so the point of the text this morning is to tell us that we need to give God praise. Don't let anything or anyone stand in your way of giving God's praise, of giving God praise. He has been too good to us. And so as we consider this message this morning i pray that we will not hold back our praise every praise belong to god 
every praise we need to give him and we need to give him wholeheartedly. Amen. So God bless you today and may you give him your praise as he continues to shower you with his blessings and favor. Amen.